Hi everybody, it's Lori from Paracord Planet, and this week's tutorial is on the Zawbar Paracord Bracelet. For this, you will need approximately a 14 to 15 feet of paracord for a 7 to 8 inch bracelet, and here I have emerald green and our tan $4.99. You will also need a lighter, a scissors, a buckle, and I have a 3 quarters inch buckle here. And then a couple optional tools that will be helpful here is a knotter's tool with fids inside and then we also have our brand new smoothing tool that um, I will also use at the end of the bracelet. The first thing that you will want to do is weld your two pieces of paracord together and I have already done that here. So to do that all you need to do is heat up the ends until they're a little bit bubbly and then hold them together until they, uh, until they cool off and stick together. Then you will find the halfway point um, which is of course right by the weld and go in through the top of your buckle and do a cow's hitch which is just straight over the buckle like that and then pull it tight. And then you'll go to the ends making sure not to cross any of your paracord. And then you'll go in through the top of the other end. And pull that down. You'll want to check the size of your bracelet at this point. So I want mine a hair smaller and you can unclasp it and you are going to go back in through the other end of the buckle. So I'm going to take my ends and I'm going to go in through the top. and make sure all of your cords are straight and even and then you're going to do that one more time you're going to go in through the sides of the other end of the buckle So this is what you should have at this point. You should have six strands in the middle and all nice and the same length so that when they're pulled tight they're all flat there. So like I said you should have six strands in the middle for your base and then the two going to the side. Now the first thing that you'll want to do is take your cord, skip two of the base cords and go over and then behind. And then you'll take your other cord and you're going to go in through this same um, slit that you just went through. So you're going to go over four cords and behind two and just push them both up and pull them tight. Then you'll take your cord from the left start that started on the left and is now on the right and go over two and behind four. them up. You'll take your cord that's on the started on the right and is now on the left and you're gonna go over four and behind two the same slit that you just went through with your left cord and push them up. Then 
Then you'll take your cord again, slit the spot, and then go over two and behind four. Pull it tight and push it up. Do that after every, every weave. And then you'll take this cord again. You'll go over four and behind two, the same spot that the other cord just came from. Pull it tight and push it up. And one more here. Take the tan cord. You'll go over two and behind four. Push it up. To take your green cord, and you're gonna go over four and behind two. So there you can see the pattern is forming. Your um, cord that you start with is your accent cord because that is only going over two. And your other cord is your more dominant color and that is going over four. And you can see it zigzagging back there just like that. So you'll continue the weave just the same as that and I will meet you when we are at the bottom. Now that I'm at the bottom, it's getting a little bit tighter in there, so I will need a fid to get the paracord through there. And I have the fids are right inside of the knotter's tool here. Inside the knotter's tool, you do get three different sizes, so I will, of course, use the one that is really good with the 550 cord. Gonna finish up with this one. Now, this is the front. It's all finished up and all the way down to the cow's hitch right there. So, on the other side here, what I'm going to do is take my fid and then weave these ends up through a couple of these just to keep them nice and sturdy in there. Now all you need to do is cut off the ends and burn them. And then a really handy tool is the new smoothing tool that we have in. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use that as well. So I have the smoothing tool ready here. And you'll of course just burn the ends. And I'm gonna smooth it out with the smoothing tool here. They're very nice and flat here and you won't even feel them against your skin. The smoothing tool works very, very well. It just glides right, right on top of there making it as flat as it possibly can without getting a ridge as you would from the side of a scissors. So, there you have it. The Paracord Zabar bracelet. Thank you so much for watching the tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed. See you next week. Hi everybody, it's Lori from Paracord Planet. Thank you so much for watching our video today. If you liked it, please click the like button below and subscribe to our channel right up here so you can get instant notifications of when we upload videos, tutorials, and product spotlights. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.